Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch and review of the Little Ondine nail polishes. And this is a water-based and peelable nail polish. You guys, I cannot tell you how satisfying this is. It just comes off in one gigantic piece. And you know what, let's just get right into the video. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, at the end of the video I will be giving you guys five easy nail ideas using these colors. So make sure you're watching to the end. Okay, so I just wiped off my nail using some rubbing alcohol. And then I'm applying their base coat. And this is actually a two-in-one base coat, so it's also the top coat that you're going to be using. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry completely and then move on to the first color. Okay, so the first color that I tried is... I don't even see the name. So it just says L615. If I can find the name, I'll put it on the screen. But, oh my gosh. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like a teal, green, shifting sparkly nail polish and it's amazing. I wasn't expecting this at all you guys. The formula is so nice. It applied really smoothly and I was afraid that it wouldn't be completely opaque in two coats but it was so this is one of my new favorite nail polishes you guys. Like just looking at it right now I'm getting excited about it all over again and then I just finished it off with that two-in-one base and top coat and now it is time to peel it off so I think I only waited I want to say like 10 minutes but obviously if you're wearing the nail polish it would already be completely dry and so I'm just taking an orange stick and I'm just kind of going around my cuticle area and just slightly pushing it up and then I just grabbed a pair of tweezers and then I'm peeling it off and oh my gosh it came off in one gigantic piece and it was so satisfying to do like I don't even know how I could wear this because I would just be peeling it off all day but yeah that is the first color Next up is L100, again, I can't find the name, but this is just a black nail polish, and this is a one coder. I was not expecting that at all. I was, I'm over, I was like literally over here freaking out while I was watching these. I guess the thing that I'm confused about is how do you get a one coder black nail polish when it says all the, like, these are all the ingredients. It's natural nail color composed of water, purified resin, and colorant. Like, how somebody somebody please explain that because that's that's amazing um but then after that I just applied my top coat and then peeled that off so moving on to the next swatch if I can find the polish right now um okay so this is L O three L O L zero three eight and this is a gray nail polish so for this one I did experience some bubbling I'm not sure why because I didn't have that problem with any of the other polishes but this did end up being a two coater and then when I went to apply the top coat it actually took most of the bubbles away so I mean it didn't end up looking bad but I did experience the bubbles like when I applied it but overall it is a pretty color it's just a gray but it does peel off so here it is being peeled off next up is L024 which is a silver glitter nail polish and this is the first coat right here. The glitter is very sparse, so I was not about to keep applying this because it would probably take like five to six coats just to get it opaque. So I grabbed a makeup sponge and I'm just sponging that right on my nail. And even though it did end up taking a few layers of sponging it on, it ended up being such a pretty color. It's like, I, my nail looks like a diamond right here. Like it's so sparkly and it's peelable. I mean, I don't think it gets any better than a peelable glitter nail polish because glitter is just terrible to take off. So yeah, that is L024. <laughs> and then lastly, I have L026. I really wish I knew the names of these. This was a little bit better than the silver sparkle. I mean, honestly, it was pretty much the same, but I wanted to go ahead and apply it normally just so you guys can see what that looks like. So it ended up being, I want to say like three and a half coats because I did three coats and then I went over it in some areas. But I mean, it's still a pill off glitter nail polish. So I kind of feel like it's worth it. So that is it for the swatches. Let me know what you guys think. I personally love these. It's really fun to peel off, honestly. And that first color, oh my gosh, I still can't get over that. Um, I did notice when painting, I didn't really smell anything, which I guess makes sense because they are very natural ingredients because normally, you know, you have those big chemical names like formaldehyde and all that stuff. So now I'm going to show you guys a few easy nail ideas just using the polishes that I have. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!